Warmer temperatures are in the forecast this weekend. And that means maple syrup farmers are gearing up for the sap to flow. Summer Scogan Sugarbush is a family owned and operated maple syrup farm in Minnetrista. Molly Rosenblatt paid a visit today and shows us how the sap gets from the tree to your home. Miles and miles of lines across this 17 acre property are waiting for that sap to start flowing. Don Summer says it all began 25 years ago as a hobby with his son. We found some spiles in a, uh, in a shoe box, and my son and I uh, built a little barrel stove, and we just like to, uh, you know, get out. Their hobby grew into a labor of love. A thousand taps, seemingly endless lines that collect the sap to a large tank. That sap then gets pumped up to the sugar house where they process it. Summer Skogan Sugarbush has been all over the world. She was heading back to Paris, so she brought back some of our little three ounce bottles, and then we have brought um, maple syrup over to friends in Sweden. We've had it go to Belize, Hawaii. And just this year, they've expanded with a new line of syrup. Uh, what we did is we've uh, obtained a 53-gallon uh, barrel uh, from Kentucky that has had bourbon in it for nine years. Now, Don explains that this is what the maple syrup aged in the bourbon barrel looks like when it first comes out. You can see the char. And this is the final product once they filter that out. So if you're a bourbon lover, bottoms up. And Kentucky bourbon has to have American oak, and it has to be heavily charred on the inside. Another new adventure for their huge operation that began as a little hobby. And plus, I'm always optimistic about maple syrup. With highs in the 40s expected by the weekend, the summers are looking forward to seeing sap flowing through these lines again. In Minnetrista, Molly Rosenblatt, WCCO4 News. The sap starts flowing when it's above freezing during the day and below freezing at night. So, you guys, I guess this is perfect season. This right? is a season, yeah. That, that